Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for December 23. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next one is I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. By the way, the Unity Mega Bundle is ending really soon. This is an excellent deal with tons of visuals, tons of really interesting tools. It has this complete third-person shooter game kit which looks really awesome. And beyond that, the Humble Bundle is also excellent. Also has tons of stuff, tons of visuals, tons of really awesome tools, all for a really cheap price. So if you need anything, definitely get it quickly. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with some great looking fire VFX. This is very high quality, all of them look great. It features lots of fire, both big, small, there are some that are on the floor, some with some smoke and some that are pretty simple. This includes both the VFX as well as some sound effects. Then if you'd like to make your own Sea of Thieves or maybe Ship of Fools, look at this one. It's a really nice low poly ship. You can imagine lots of players roaming around doing all kinds of things, interacting with the cannons, fighting off some kind of sea monster, all kinds of things. Looking at this one really makes me want to make a quick prototype just like that. Just imagine a player up there scouting out for nearby islands. And thanks to the awesome multiplayer tools that exist nowadays, building something like that is actually surprisingly easy. Or if you need a tool to help you populate your world with some prefabs, check out this one. There's a bunch of these prefab placement tools. This one seems very capable, and again, this is free. This one is the free version of a pay tool. It appears that the only difference is that it has a limited number of brushes, so it should still be great to try it out and easily populate an entire world. Then if you need a fun cartoony ghost character, check out this one. It's a really nice, really cute character. This could be your player or it could be some kind of enemy. If you like this cute cartoony style, then this dev has tons more stuff. Or maybe if you need some foliage to make your worlds feel much more alive, check out this one. It's some nice foliage shaders. It includes various examples alongside tons of parameters and shader nodes that you can play with. You can modify almost anything to get it looking exactly the way you want it. This one also has a wind system and features some translucency. This is some great looking foliage. Definitely go ahead and try adding something like this to your projects to see the massive difference that it makes. Then if you have curved paths in your world, check out this tool. You can generate meshes with curves and very easily animate the visual. It features lots of gizmos that you can easily drag to get the exact shape that you want. You can easily add or remove points. You can move objects at a consistent speed alongside the spline. There are plenty of these tools and this one seems pretty great. If you want to learn how a tool like this actually works, then you can go watch my spline tutorial. Then here's a bit of a strange tool. It's for spawning objects that automatically move alongside the colliders in the world. The example shown in the video is some kind of ants that are just moving all over the world. They can climb any object, even if that object is dynamic. Definitely a strange use case. Or perhaps a more standard use case, simply positioning objects in the world. It automatically finds solid surfaces and places the objects. Then of course, those objects can be somewhat randomized, making them look more natural, so this can also be a nice world building tool. Then if all you need is just a single anime character, check out this one. It's got a nice stylized shader and the character proportions make it look quite anime-like. This one is fully rigged, so you can also easily animate it. If you like this particular style, then this dev has tons more. And if you want a super quick and easy way to massively improve how your game looks, one of the easiest things you can do is just by using a custom skybox like on this pack. This one features a dozen skybox, so there are some really nice blue clean skies. There are some dark night skies, some very cloudy, some very clear, and even some that look quite strange. Again, changing the skybox is really something super simple that will massively make your game feel much, much better. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for December 23. There's links in the description. Also remember to check out the bundle on the asset store. It's ending in just three days, so if there's anything you want, definitely get it quickly. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.